What's up guys, Jeremy here from Let's Start a Pop Collection, coming at you with another great video. Um, before we get started, I do want to do a follow-up to last week's video. We did um, a box opening from Beard of Pop, and I totally missed it, and I want to show these off. I got two great stickers in those boxes. I got this one, the foil hologram sticker. I love that sticker. I'm super excited to get it, and I got one of his new ones, I think. It looks just like this. So those will be going up on the board behind me. Be sure to uh, jump over and check out Beer Pop. So anyway, we will get into this video here in just a moment. I have a great one. It is another box from one of my favorite companies to buy mystery boxes from, Papa's Pop Shop. So stick around. Alright guys, like I said, I've got a box, mystery box here from Papa's Pop Shop. It is a $50 mystery box with guaranteed value. And as you know, all of, if you've been watching these videos, all of the boxes that come from Papa's Pop Shop come with um, comic books. So it's got two comic books inside as well. And I believe this was the search for the Superman, the red-eyed Superman. Very, very cool. Can't wait to get into it. I got the box right here. We're gonna go straight into it. So I'm gonna open it from the bottom here. Um, hopefully the pops will be upside down. I think usually he stacks them right side up. So I'm gonna open it from the bottom and we'll see what we got. He does a great job shipping. He does a great job packaging these things. I've got some really cool different pops. I don't always get all the normal ones, or not normal ones, but the common ones you see in a lot of boxes. That's why I love these boxes so much. There's so much mystery to them, and there's uh, always great value, and I just love the comic book twist. I love the fact that you get comic books. Just barely looked inside the box to make sure I was doing it upside down, and I already see something that I haven't seen before that I don't believe is a pop. So what could we have gotten here? Let's move some things out of the way. I'm gonna get this over here so I can feel around in it and see what we've got here. All right, I've got one pop, two pop, three pop. Is that a two pack maybe? I don't know what's going on here. Oh, that's, I don't know what that is. Okay, we're gonna pull this out first. Um, not sure what the front, what the back is, but let's see what we got here. Ready, three, two, one, boom. Oh, check that out. First Order Stormtrooper. Wow, that's really cool. I've never seen that. That is a Star Wars The Force Awakens First Order Stormtrooper vinyl bobblehead. It looks like it's been opened before. I'm going to pull this sucker out of the box. Let's see what we got here. This is super, super cool. Guys, check that out. Wow. Very, very cool. See, I'm telling you, Papa's Pop Shop, you never know what you're going to get out of these boxes. That, I love that. That is fantastic. I'm going to set that over there. I'm actually going to leave him out of the box for now. I'm going to set him right over here. Yeah, that is super cool. That is from The Force Awakens. And it is a Funko. Um, here's the bottom of the box. So it is a Funko, uh, but I don't really know anything about this. So if anybody knows, hit me up, let me know. I just think it's a super, super cool bobblehead. That's really, really neat. All right, we'll set this aside here. See what else we got, because I know there's a lot more. Good. There's another pop. So there's four pops, and I know there's comic books in here. There they are right there. All right, let's pull out one of the pops first. Let's go with this one here, and I think it's going to be upside down. Three, two, one. What do we got? Vulture from the 80 Years Marvel Collection. That's very cool. So, uh, first appearance in The Amazing Spider-Man. It is Vulture. Spin that thing around. That's a really neat looking pop. I actually, as you guys know, I don't collect a lot of Marvel. But I am really starting to enjoy a lot of these 80-year boxes. I love the backs. I love the first uh, first appearance uh, information on there. 
So I do really like these these um, 80 year pops. I'm not sure if I'm collecting them yet or not, but I do like them. So, all right, next pop. It's upside down, so I'm gonna flip it over and turn it around. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Rick and Morty. What do we got here? Tiny Rick. Very cool. All right, so I got a box lunch exclusive Tiny Rick. He's got a little guitar. That's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. I don't know a lot about Rick and Morty. I've been told a million times that I need to watch it. I have not yet started to watch it. I probably should give it a shot. So we'll see. We'll see. All right, next up, let me turn this over. Turn it around. And three, two, one. Boom. What do I got here? I've got Dog from The Walking Dead. That's. I do love The Walking Dead. I'm a huge Walking Dead fan. I don't have any of the pops, so this is great. This is a great way to start the collection. Uh, I don't know a lot about Dog, but um, I definitely will be collecting the Walking Dead pops. So this is a very cool one to get. I need to get Alpha and Daryl and Judith and Michonne. Those are the ones that are listed on the back of this box um, to complete this set, but I do like it a lot. Dog. Cool. All right, we got one more pop, and then we have um, two comic books. This one is, I just, hang on, I just threw something on the floor. I don't know what that was. Uh -huh. All right, check this out, guys. This is super cool. It's a keychain, and it's a little wooden, little piece of wood with uh, Big Papa's Pop Shop and a logo on there. That is super cool. Wow. That's really nicely done, too. Uh, it says the coolest mixed, the coolest mystery boxes in real small print underneath the bottom of it. And that's true. I love these mystery boxes. I really do. That's super cool, man. I appreciate that. That's really, really neat. What a great addition to the boxes. Okay, one more pop. I'll pull it out down here because it's wrapped in bubble wrap. And then we've got uh, two comics as well. So no protector on this. Um, let me find, okay, should go this way. Ready? Three, two, one. Boom. Hey, Jack-Jack. All right, we got a Hot Topic exclusive. Jack-Jack, uh, it looks like he's got the silver chrome he head face, I was going to say. Um, Jack Jack, I don't have any Incredibles 2 pops. That's actually a really neat pop. Um, I just recently, I think, watched The Incredibles um, with some with, uh, not by myself, <laughs> um, and forgot how really, really good that show is. So pretty cool. That's a really neat, that's a really neat pop. So, um, okay, so now we have two, I think that's it. So we have two comic books left. Let's see what we got in the comic books. Ready? And boom. What do we got? Ooh, Wonder Woman. Ooh. That's cool. Wow, that's really, really neat. Wonder Woman. Uh, the Blind Leading the Dead? Question mark. I love Wonder Woman. One of my favorite superheroes. Outstanding comic book to get. Really, really cool. Let me see what I got next. Could it be another Wonder Woman? It is. It most definitely is. Very, very cool. So we have In the Land of the Dead, Wonder Woman. I just love the covers. I love the artwork. I love everything about comic books. I don't read them, but I just think the artwork is second to none. I think it's really, really cool. So I love collecting these. I love the um, the outer covers, whether they're the original or or a an artist rendition. Um, love, love, love Wonder Woman. Fantastic! Well, that's great stuff, guys. Tell me, tell me what your favorite is. We're going to do some values here, but but go down in the comments below. Tell me what your favorite is. We have Jack, Jack, Dog, um, Tiny Rick, and uh, who's this one? Vulture. 
Vulture. So let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget, we also have the First Order Stormtrooper bobblehead. Super, super cool. Uh, that might actually be my favorite. That might be my favorite of the whole box. That and these two Wonder Woman comics. So, uh, guys, yeah, let me know down below what your favorite is. And let's get some values together, shall we? I'm going to go to the Funko app for this um, First Order Star Wars Stormtrooper and see if I can pull anything up on that. Otherwise, I'm not sure how I'll know. Okay, so this is valued at $9. I'll tell you the box condition isn't great. Don't care. He's going up behind me, out of box. Love it. Absolutely, absolutely love it. $9. Okay, Jack Jack. is current trending value at five dollars ouch that's that one's a little rough so we got nine and we got five obviously 14 so far uh, we'll do tiny rick tiny rick is coming in at thirteen dollars just 27 uh, I told you this was a $50, $50 box. Um, next one up is Dog. And Dog is coming in at... Wow! Dog is coming in at $26. Fantastic. There's very little... I saw a little bitty... Uh, I don't even... It looks like box defect right there. A little tiny crunch on the corner there. Not too bad. Um, so minimal box damage. $26. He is from 2019. So, I don't know. That's awesome. I had no idea dog was worth that much. Who knew? Who knew? And last up, Vulture. Wait, what did I say he was? $26. Okay. Uh, $26. And Vulture is coming in at $11. Man, I'm telling you what. I am telling you what. Uh, fourteen sixty-four dollars, sixty-four dollars just in the pops and the stormtrooper, and I still got these comics. I guarantee these comics are worth, you know, five dollars a piece, maybe three to five dollars a piece. So six to ten dollars right there. We're talking about you know close to seventy-five dollars in value back, seventy to seventy-five dollars in value back on a fifty-dollar mystery box. Where else do you go that you can get things like this? I got a really cool keychain uh, made out of wood. I got this uh, First Order Stormtrooper bobblehead. And I got these four absolutely amazing pops. Um, yeah, I'm telling you, if you haven't checked out Big Papa's Pop Shop or papaspopshop.com, um, go check him out over on Instagram. Go check out the website. He's doing giveaways on her all the time. He's doing live videos on Instagram. I believe he just started a um, YouTube channel. Go check him out over there. Show some love. And if you love mystery boxes like I do, you've got to give these a try. Give them a shot. Um, check them out. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, watching this video. Again, be sure to comment down below which one is your favorite. I hope you enjoyed this video like I did. If you did, please hit that thumbs up consider subscribing, um, turn on notifications, it'll let you know every time there's a new video. I have changed my schedule. Um, I'll make a comment in a video about how I upload every uh, Saturday and Tuesday or something crazy, and then, and then by the time that video uploads, I've changed that schedule. So you can catch me right now, as of filming this, every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. I'm uploading three videos a week, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, and that seems to be working out as far as when people are available to watch videos and when, uh, you know, I, I notice that a lot of times when I post on Friday and Saturday night, they just kind of get lost in, in the Friday, Saturday night. Everybody's busy doing things. Nobody's sitting down watching videos. So I try to do them on Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, and if that doesn't work out, I'll get you posted and let you know what the new schedule is going to be, but uh, stick around. I hope you stay tuned, and we will... See you in the next one.